Welcome to day two in Thailand. We are going on a tour of Chinatown today. Lots of cultural visits going on. I have this beautiful temple behind me and we will check in with a little more later. Greetings from the Grand Palace here. Beautiful around us. We've got two hours here to walk around. Lots of people, very touristy. We'll see how it goes. Sam Kasana almost got stabbed. It's very busy here right now. It's a little rainy. I think it's some very important Buddhist holiday piece. Let's see. I don't know if I can spin this around, but um, very busy. Yes. Lots of tours, lots of yelling. It's a wonderful day. might be some of the most beautiful architecture I've ever seen. You can see it in the background over here. Lots of gold, all hand done. I can't even draw a stick figure and this was all handmade here. Beautiful. This place is insane. It's hot, it's sweaty. There's a million people. You gotta fight for a good photo op, but it's worth it. It's hotter and more crowded than ever. Times are getting desperate. We found people that spoke English for the first time in three days besides who's in our group. It was an amazing experience. The Grand Palace is a complex of buildings taking up roughly 2,315,000 square feet at the heart of Bangkok. The palace has been the official residence of the kings of Siam and later Thailand since 1782. The king, his court, and the royal government were based on the grounds of the palace until 1925. King Rama IX and his successor, King Rama X, both did not live in the palace, but it is still used for official events. Construction of the palace took, began on May 6, 1782 at the order of King Rama I, the founder of the Shakri dynasty, when he moved the capital city from Thunburi to Bangkok. Allegedly, it only took a thousand workers four years to complete the Grand Palace, working eight hours every day, but I'm a little skeptical. So we just boarded the boat over here. I'm trying to get a window seat. It's, uh, it's a little, little, little rocky. I want to get up in the front. A water taxi is a watercraft in Thailand used to provide public transport, usually but not always in an urban environment. Service may be scheduled with multiple stops operating in a manner similar to a bus or a subway. The, okay. So after a delicious lunch, we are currently at Wat Pho with Professor Ko. Convenient it's ride. Wat Pho, you ask? Because we say so. That's okay, there you go. Is, I think this is where they have the big Buddha. I'm not really sure. Um, I guess we will see in a little bit. If there is, I'm sure there will be pictures. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Very traditional. All handmade. So we are currently at the Reclining Buddha. It's the second largest reclining Buddha in the entire world. 17 meters tall and 42 meters long. Let's get a little selfie with this bad boy. Look at that. Oh, I don't know how to work my camera. Look at that. Truly amazing. 